It's only practice and game days. <laughs> no, I like to keep it back when I'm in the building, show the face a little bit. Uh, camps been feeling good. Um, I'm on to my seventh camp now, so each and every year I feel like I progress and, and just get better as a player and as a teammate. And uh, having been here last year, knowing the offense, feels good to get out here and camp this year and uh, you know really turn it on. And uh, feels good. Got a good squad. Um, it was fun. Um, a lot of good guys, a lot of good coaches. Um, won a lot of games too. You know, it's so fun when you win. So, I just like being here. I like the atmosphere. I like the town. Uh, it's kind of a smaller town, you know, not so big city, and I kind of like that. And I love cold weather too. So, cold weather spot here in Buffalo. It suits me perfect. So I'm, I can't wait for it to start snowing. It's hot weather. It's tough. <laughs> you said you love cold weather. I do. Yeah, you're right. Easy to say that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the way that Coach Daves has uh, the offense drawn up, I like to, you know, I'd be able to help him out in any way possible, whether it's being an outside guy, an inside guy, being able to make blocks, being down on the line of scrimmage making blocks, and uh, also, you know, special teams, being able to not only fit in on the offense, but fit in there and uh, be able to make plays and, you know, help us out, give us good field position and just be an all around player. So I love it here. Uh, it's big time. Um, you know, yeah, like you said, you never want to have guys out and guys missing days. But, you know, having, having that happen, um, it definitely gives me a few more reps and a few more opportunities. And, you know, I like to take advantage of those as well as I can. But, you know, having him out also somewhat hurts us in a way because, you know, I like to watch him and learn from him and steal some of his moves and, and you know, use his energy uh, to help me get through the practice. So it's good and bad. Yeah, um, you know, the urgency is definitely a, a thing that you got to, you know, take note of when you're in there with the ones, but it, it's also a thing with whatever huddle you're in, with your the twos, threes, fours, you got to have urgency because you can see on film, you know, when someone's playing with urgency and uh, you like to stand out by doing that. Jake, is there any thought of, you know, playing the Packers this year? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Definitely excited. Uh, it's going to be a fun game. Yeah. Because of the Packers coming, I mean, because it's, it's you know, it's home. Yeah, no, I'm excited. It'll be cool to, you know, see some of the guys I know, some familiar faces. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, also, it's the next game, so I'm going to be excited no matter what. Um, but, yeah, just because it's Green Bay, it'll be good to bump those guys around a little bit. What do you, what do you make of this, you know, when, when you hear Aaron Rodgers talk about how disappointed he is that they're not there? Um, yeah, it's tough, um, but it happens to a lot of guys, you know, so guys got to move on and, and, you know, get on with your life and get on with ball. So now that I'm here, it, it's all right. No big deal. And glad to be here. Is, is it a boat? It, it, it's got to be a boat. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, we all know he's going to come. I mean, a boat of confidence in some ways that, to know that that guy, you know, want, wanted you on, on, on his team. Yeah, it does feel good. Um, you know, I'm confident in myself and in my ability wherever I go. So uh it doesn't matter much what anybody says, so I'm, I'm I'm confident in my abilities and I know what I can what I can do. So I come out here, I just try my best. Jake, so this is your seventh training camp. I mean, do you know how important these decisions are to guys who are trying to make the roster for another year now? Or why is it so strategically important to you and um, your teammates that they're trying to make another guy who are trying to compete with themselves? Yeah, it's important. Um, just because you have an opportunity to be on the field, you know. Um, things move a lot faster on game day than they do out here in practice. So uh, having another opportunity to go make plays, uh, I like to say on Sunday, but I guess it's on Saturday, is, uh, is a big opportunity for everybody. Um, for the young guys, and including me being you know, kind of an older guy now, um, you can't take a play off. you got to go out there and, and play like you're trying to make the team every time.
Um, no, I don't know. I think that, you know, we know our schedule. We know that we have three games, and uh, I think that guys are just doing all that they can, you know, to, to be prepared and go out there and execute because, you know, that's the main thing is execution. So when we get out there, we just try to bring the practice field to the game field. Uh, it's good. Uh, Josh is great. He brings great energy to practice. He's got a great leadership. You know, I love having him in the huddle, commanding us, telling us what to do. Um, he's for the guys. You know, all the guys love him. You see the handshakes. You see the headbutts. Uh, big, strong quarterback. He likes to run the ball, and you know, when he makes a play, it gets us excited too. So, I got nothing but props for Josh, and I'm real glad to be a part of his offense. Oh, uh, it's a good one. Um, I've <laughs> Yeah, I've heard it, you know, once or twice. I get a lot of nicknames, a lot of lookalikes. So uh, if that's what he wants to go with, that's cool with me. What's your best nickname? Um, that's one of them for sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. You got to just, I guess, wait and hear him. <laughs> Who's calling you? Teammates? Yeah, teammates, coaches, friends, just everybody, just whatever. Did you hear that all in the team? No, I mean, not really. I got long hair and a beard, so it fits, I guess. But yeah, I don't like to you know claim that to, to be like Jesus or anything. But <laughs> if uh, if guys want to joke around and call me that, that's fine with me. I don't care. And we're sure not gonna refer to yourself. Not at all. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't claim any of them. I don't nicknames. They all get brought to me. Last year, did you interact with Lance Whitehold at all? I did. Me and Lance have been in touch since I left Whitewater. Um, we've been in touch through phone and through text and call and. Every time a move gets made, either on his side or my side, you know, we're always shooting a text back and forth, congratulations, and I you know, hope the family's good and hope his kids are good. And last year I didn't get to see him a whole lot, you know, due to the COVID, uh, everything that was going on with the quarantine, and I didn't, I was new or here, and I didn't want to be out and about, uh, you know, causing anything to happen. So I pretty much laid low and, and stayed low key and didn't end up seeing him. But, you know, he knew I was close by, and if I really needed anything, he told me to reach out, and he's got my back. So I appreciated that. Oh, no, I have a couple oh, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought you may have. But what would it mean to make, make, this, you know, make, make this roster this season? That's everything. Yeah, that's what my goal is. That's what that's the plan. That's the goal. That's what I've been working for. That's what the offseason was for. That's what going hard in camps for. That's what this week's game is for, is to make that team. And I'm going to do everything I can to do that and try and hold down a spot. Um, yeah, it's extra special every time you do it. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter the guys in the room or not because it's always going to be difficult and it's always going to be challenging. You know, guys are all out here for a reason. You know, everybody's got the ability, that's for sure. So you got to find ways to separate yourself, uh, whether it's in the books, whether it's, you know, on the field trying hard and staying extra, doing whatever you got to do. So uh, making that would definitely just be an honor and, you know, be a lot of, be a lot of fun. I'm ready for it. Yeah, thanks.